What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be for part two of our, uh, I think it's six or seven part series that we're doing here today. Um, today we're going to be discussing uh, a really one of my favorite plays in the game, uh, and it comes to us from the 4-3 under, uh, once again, of course, but, but this play specifically is the under Sham Shark or the Mike Sam Crash. Uh, there's uh, different names for the same play, but what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about this as a potential run defense, a uh, strong right run defense. So, uh, for example, if they're in like a strong eye, normal, or, um, you know, some kind of pistol. I don't have anything in this playbook uh, right, right now, but we'll just use like a simple zone run to kind of illustrate the point. Um, anyway, what we want to do with this, we want to base a line, and then we want to spread our line, and we want to re-blitz this Matthews guy on the right of the screen outside linebacker. So you can just hot blitz him. And then as we've done before, we want to bring Hayward down into the box here. Now, this is kind of the the key to this defense. You do not use her Hayward. You leave him there, and you're going to use her banjo. And the only problem with this is if you're playing person-person. If you're playing person-person, they're going to see that. Um, so you could potentially use her if you want to. But you don't have to because of the if we're, if we're just playing on a regular online game. So you're going to use your banjo in this sense, instance. So what I like to do is put him in a hook zone, or I actually really like to man him up too. I've heard that's really good. And uh, as you see here, this is just a really good off tackle run stopper uh, to the right side. And how is it to the left side? Okay, so we'll show you that out of just an eye form. And so this would technically still be strong right, but I do want to show you just like a left inside run. So the same setup that we just did, we're going to bring Hayward down, and we're going to man up Banjo on anyone. And you see this is, isn't as good as an inside, but it's a much better off tackle. And so that's why if your opponent's running inside, we have some other plays we're going to use this to stop that. Uh, I don't have one play in this uh, playbook that's actually just shut down run defense, but I have several plays in combination with each other that are really effective uh, at shutting down the run uh, and also giving you decent pressure if they decide to pass. And so here, um, you see that's not too bad, especially if you have some guys like Ryan Pickett and B.J. Raji in the middle. Alright, now secondly, I want to show you how we do, uh, how this play does against the pass from under, under center. So in a situation like this, um, say they run like a play action scissors and um, they take the running back and put him out on a route. And I just want to show you how this, this play works. And so as you'll see here, we should get that right B-gap pressure uh, at the quarterback. And, and it's a lot better from shotgun, but I just wanted to show you the point um, from under center just to show you that it's the same kind of concept. Um, and so that's kind of the rule for under center. If, you're, if they're running uh, under center specifically, uh, and more specifically, I uh, understand with a lot of running backs, so like two to three running backs. Um, you want to go ahead and, and run that setup. And then this other setup is going to be for if they're in for if they're in shotgun. I don't know what I just did there. But this other rule is going to be for in their, when they're in sh shotgun formation. And, um, you know, why would you use this play in example for a shotgun situation? Well, um, you may use it for the pressure that it's going to generate. You may want to use it for... You know, countless about the things that they're throwing, you know, out routes and, and stuff like that. But anyway, long story short, you want to go ahead and spy this guy right here, uh, pick it, and then I think you can actually uh, even drop another guy out. But anyway, you're going to get that right uh, B gap pressure. We got a little tripped up there, but you see the, the, the point. And um, another thing that I'd like to do is I'll just run the play like this and I'll just spy this tackle here and leave the other guy blitzing and the reason I do that is because this blitz helps out against the run it also helps out against the quarterback rollout the spy we still get a spy and then we should get actually cleaner pressure my from what I've seen from this yeah it's actually cleaner uh, a lot more likelihood of coming in so uh, if they are in shotgun you could do any of the any of the three setups but the one I'm gonna recommend is simply just spying uh, the right of screen defensive tackle. Now you can actually man up, pick it here. I think you can. Uh, and the pressure should still come in with B-gap. There you see it does. 
So, anyways, that is part two of the Mike Sam Crash 3. Uh, we're going to have a, a little gameplay to show you how all this flushes together in the end. But, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow with another play.